hi guys welcome back to the channel i'm glad that you're watching in today's video i'm going to share with you um uk visa requirements for kenyan nationals okay so um obviously the first thing that you need is your valid kenyan passport okay so unless you've been hiding under a rock you're aware that the kenyan government introduced the new generation e-passports and the last day that you can use your um, old passport is February 2020. However, remember anytime you want to travel internationally, the requirement is to have six months validity on your passport. So technically that means um, most countries are likely to insist on the new generation passport six months before the um, cut off which is February 2020 so my advice to you is to get your new generation passport as soon as is possible and if you're wondering um, how to go about it this video will help you um, or if you have some questions about the new generation passports again I have shot another video that will um, answer some of your questions okay so number one you need a valid um, Kenyan passport Number two requirement, you're going to need a valid email address that you can access. And why is this important? This is important when you're doing your, um, lodging your application online. Having a valid email address gives you access to the link and you can keep coming back and forth as you fill out your application. And also, it's through this email address that you could be notified whether you're um, passport application is ready. Um, public pa passport, sorry, your UK visa application results are ready for collection. Number three um, item that you require for your UK visa application is details of previous countries you have visited in the last 10 years. And the last time I did my application, I think it was two years ago, you have to know both the month in the year you visited each of those countries the last 10 years okay but again keep changing keep checking with the website stuff changes okay but the last time i applied you have to enter details of all countries you have visited for the last 10 years by year and month again number four is your national identity card if you have one number five requirement is a duly filled dated and signed um, UK visa application form. Again, um, I will leave a link at the bottom of uh, for my, I've, and I've, I've written an article about how to go about filling in the UK visa application, so I'll leave a link at the bottom. Number six, you need two passport sized colored photographs and they must be on a white background. Your face must take two thirds of the space of the background. And personally, I use Marie Daddy Peaks. It's my favorite studio and it's located at Uchumi House at the Can Walk for two main reasons. Number one, they're very affordable. And number two, it takes like I think five minutes and you have your pictures, okay? And the quality is really good. So, no, they didn't pay me to say this, but I will use them for like eternity. Number seven, sorry, you can also ask um, Marie Daddy guys to give you a soft copy of your um, picture. So take the hard copies, but request for the soft copy as well. Number seven, you're going to need a return air ticket. Yeah. So you will need to print out the air ticket. And my personal advice is that do not pay for an air ticket until that point when you have your visa in hand. And again, I have um, I have uh, an article where I outline the different ways that you can get a return air ticket without necessarily paying fully for the air ticket. So check again the link in the bottom. And the return air ticket, so obviously it must be round trip. Number two, it must indicate your full names as they appear in the passport. And number three, it obviously must show your intended arrival date in the UK and your return back home. Number eight, if you are employed, you're going to need a letter of introduction from your employer who is located in Kenya. So number one, 
at bare minimum your letter must have your full names and reference your passport number number two it might it must mention your title so if you're the ceo of the organization say eva is the ceo of amani boutique number three it must indicate the period you have been employed with the said organization it must also indicate your salary details it must indicate your employment status if you're permanent i think it will have more weight and then it must also indicate that you will you have been on a you have been okay it must indicate that you will be on approved leave during the travel period and that you intend to come back and work for the organization when you come back okay and then of course your hr or admin person will sign the letter on behalf of the organization number nine if you're employed again you're going to need um pay slips for the last three months and um just ask your accountant or your hr um to stamp for you the pay slips if you're self-employed you could um attach your business um certificate and also business registration certificate and also just to give evidence that your business is operational you can send um print up screenshots of um let's say if your business is online you can print out screenshots of your sales uh, transactions over the last three months or also um, if you have a business bank account you can print out to show how money has been coming in and if you're unemployed um, based on my experience at the UK Embassy and the experience of other people that I know I'd suggest you look for a guarantor or a sponsor or just get a job if you don't have a job and you don't have a business to your name unless you're a minor or a student i think it just um makes your case a little complicated and i've shot a whole video on different reasons why um, people have been denied um uk visas the different reasons that they were given why their visas were denied and you can check it um in the link up here okay and then number 10 you must indicate means of finding your stay in the uk so again usually they ask for the three um Month satis three month certified personal bank statements. So ask your bank to give you three months or personally I usually go for six months just to be safe and ask them to certify that it's a true copy of the original. Now, something I need to mention about the bank statement. Make sure that the banks, if let's say you have a job. The bank statement that you submit is also the statement that your salary comes in so that it clearly shows um, January salary 20,000, February 20,000, March 20,000 and it's matching what you have on your pay slip. Secondly, if for any reason you have some sudden large amount deposited into your account, make sure you have documented evidence to explain why you can also explain this in your cover letter so for example let's say you sold the house make sure you have the sale agreement and you attach it to your visa application if your employer gave you a bonus make sure that you um attach the what do you call this thing the letter that your boss used to communicate the bonus to you if you sold a car again whatever reason that you have this money in your account make sure that you have documented evidence and explanation otherwise it could lead to your visa being denied okay another question most people ask me so how much should i show in my bank account again i do not have um, i haven't come across a standard amount that is communicated by the uk embassy but personally i always work with a ballpark figure of 150 pounds that's approximately i think um 16,000 Kenya shillings per day of my intended stay in the UK. Another rule that I like to apply is my total intended expenditure in the UK, I always make sure it's never more than half of my monthly salary. So again, it's up to you and what you think um, is reasonable. Number 11, again, I think I've touched on it, is your total um, monthly expenditure figure. So when you're filling out your application, they're going to ask you 
how much is your total monthly expenditure figure so make sure you have this information and it should include your living costs um, any money you give to your dependents um, your rent or your mortgage and any other bills or costs you incur in your day-to-day -day, um, life um, number 12 is not mandatory but I highly recommend it especially as a frequent traveler things do go wrong so make sure to always have a medical travel insurance certificate personally i use world normals and i'm gonna leave a link at the bottom but there's tons of other um insurance providers that you can use number 13 make sure if you're let's say going for tourism make sure you have hotel reservation Again, while it's not mandatory that you have your accommodation booked by the time you make your application, in my opinion, um, it's just to take advantage of um, getting good rates when you submit your application and that you don't miss out on the good deals. And personally, I use Booking.com because um, it has a very wide range of um, hotels and hostels and Airbnbs listed. And it allows you to compare based on different factors, whether it's price or location or rating or whatever. And then most of the properties that are listed here provide free cancellation. So just in the unfortunate event that um, your visa is not approved, you can always just go back and cancel um, without any cost. If you're invited by a friend or a relative, you need to know their full residential address. And again, if you're invited by a relative or a friend or you'll be staying with them, make sure that you have um, documentary proof of the relationship between the two of you and that you have been in constant communication. Again, watch my video on some of the reasons why um, the UK visa could be denied and I'll outline so many other reasons um, and so many other details that you're going to need. Again, um, as I've mentioned, Especially if you have traveled in the last 10 years to different countries using your old Kenyan passport, make sure that you carry that old passport with you. So again, once you have filled in your application form, you go and um, book an appointment online for the biometrics and at the VFS Global Office, it's in 9 West the last time I checked, and this is where you go and submit your documents. Now, there are two ways you could either upload them yourself online again i think i'm gonna shoot a totally different video at a later point in time how to load the application but where you lodge in the application for the biometrics there's an option for you to either upload your documents yourself or you pay extra money and the vfs staff will upload the application on your behalf um, once you get to their center so it's really up to you so um Brief rundown, the things that you need for your application, I've mentioned them, you need your valid um, Kenyan passport, you're going to need an email address that you have access to, details of previously visited countries in the last 10 years, um, national ID card if you have one, a duly filled, signed and dated US visa application form, two passport sized um, photographs on a white background, I go to my daddy pics on the can walk at Chumi house, a return air ticket, um, a letter from your employer or your company, um, pay slips for the last three months, a valid um, certified bank statement for the last three months, um, means evidence of how you're going to fund your stay in the UK, total monthly expenditure figure, medical travel insurance certificate, your hotel or accommodation reservation, your address, and obviously bring along your old passport if you have traveled using it um, in the last 10 years. Okay, obviously again, make sure you carry photocopies of any originals that you have. If you own property, make sure you carry um, evidence of ownership. If you have had um, significantly large amounts of money deposited in your account, give evidence of where the money came from if you're going to stay with a relative or a relative or a friend is sponsoring your trip make sure you have evidence of constant communication with them if you own a business make sure that you have evidence that your business is in operation if you're a student make sure you have evidence of um, 
were of your studentship. That could be um, I don't know, a letter from your school. It could be your ID, student ID card. It could be anything. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for staying up to the end. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And um, if you like this video, remember to hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, remember to hit the to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, remember to hit the notification bell so every time I shoot a new video, you'll be the first one to know. Thank you for staying. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.